All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the WZ-1113GFT, or other no- or otherwise known as the Chinese Vaza Tank Destroyer. So, basically, this tank, or tank destroyer, I should say, is very, very special indeed, because it doesn't really fall into one specific category of being that good at something. Most people, when they think of a TD, they look past this tank. People usually think about the Death Star, the Jagdpanzer E100, the Grill, the Object 268, maybe a Hori, a Fosh, but everyone always forgets the Chinese visa, and this makes complete sense because this tank is not that great at particularly anything, but at the same time, it's not bad at anything. It's a jack of all trades, similar to that of the Object 268. However, in comparison to the Object 268, which actually has some really, really good camo, some good mobility, and some troll armor, this tank doesn't really have a lot of that. The armor is pretty good, but it's not as troll as the Object 268's armor. You have a huge lower plate, which is easily penetrated, and it's not as angular as that of the 268. It's not like a Forsch where the, you know, almost all of the frontal plate is very, very strong. Um, again, the mobility is not similar to very fast TDs like the Hori or the Object 268. So in that regard, again, it lacks a bit. And of course, the gun, it's fine, it's mediocre, but it's not super great on anything. It's not like the DPM is outstanding. It's not like the Alpha stands out among other TDs. It's not like the penetration is similar to that of the Hori that would make it stand out. So this tank is pretty okay at everything, but not bad at anything at the same time. It's decent at what it does. There's just better tanks, such as the Object 268, or more specific tanks that you want to play. Uh, For example, if you want some DPM, you could have looked at the older grill before update 9.1. If you wanted to have some fun, you could have went for the Jagdpanzer E100 or the Death Star. But at the same time, if you wanted a more, you know, a bit of a competitive slash camo-based tank, for example, you could have went for the Object 268, which technically does almost everything better than the Chinese Vaza. So there was no point at looking at this tank. This tank was just quite interesting to look at, of course, because it's not that pretty. It's quite ugly, in fact. But um, apart from that, it really, again, doesn't really stand out with anything. But if you've already tried a lot of other TDs and you've probably played the 268, then I think the Chinese Vaze is completely great for you. It's also good for newer players. The tech tree isn't too bad and the tank itself is not horrible, nor is it amazing. It's just all right. So tell me what you guys think about this tank in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.